hi everyone in this time i discuss about field of quotient okay what is field of quotient it is very most important topic please you understand any integral domain d okay any integral domain d okay can be embedded in or enlarged to field f enlarged to field f such that every element of f can be expressed as a f can be expressed of a quotient of a quotient of two element of d quotient of two element of d okay such a field f is said to be a field of quotient okay such field f is a field of quotient of d okay for example the integrals for example the integers are contained in the field q the integers are contains in the field q of rational number okay or rational number whose element can be expressed a quotient of integrate integers okay integers i repeat this topic an integral domain d can be embedded in or enlarged to a field f such that every element of f can be expressed as a quotient of two element of d such a field f is said to be a field of quotient of d for example the in the integers are contained in the field q a rational number whose element can be can all be expressed a quotient of element okay please you understand field of quotient any integral domain d can be a embedded in or enlarged to field f such that every element of f can be expressed as a quotient of two elements of d such a field is a said to be a field quotient of d for example the integers are contents in the field q of rational number okay whose element can be well expressed a quotient of integers okay next i talk about homomorphisms and isomorphisms ring okay it is very most important topic homomorphisms and isomorphisms of ring okay let let okay let okay let r and s let r and s okay let r and s be two rings mapping it is this and this it is f okay it is r it is s okay it is r f such that r tends to s okay f such that r tends to s is said to be a homomorphisms for um, from r to s oh, okay it is homomorphisms from r to s okay if f a plus b a plus b f of a plus b is equal to is equal to f of a f of a into f of b okay f of b f of a f of a plus b is equal to f of a into f of b for all okay for all a comma b belongs to r a comma b belongs to r okay a comma b belongs to r here the operations of addition and multiplexons okay addition and multiplexons occurring on the left hand side are on r where a whereas those on the right hand side on are on s okay if r by i okay be a factor ring of r i being can ideal of the ring r the mapping r to r okay the mapping r to r i r to i mapping hoga or next given x tends to x okay plus i 
x plus i okay x belongs to x belongs to capital r okay x belongs to capital r is a homomorphism of r uh, into r by r r by i okay with kernel i with kernel i next a subset of r given by a belongs to r a subset of r a belongs to capital r okay such that f a is equal to zero okay next where zero is the uh, where zero is the zero element of s is called the kernel of f and is written as car f such car f is the set of elements of r the map to zero also car f is an ideal of r okay it is homomorphisms of a ring next i talk about uh, homomorphisms of rings okay let r be s yes, b two elements okay a k r or a k b are two elements and mapping f such that d okay f such that d okay next you understand a mapping okay f tends to r mapping okay f such that r to s okay it is r okay to s say map karega Tends to S is a said to be a homomorphism from R to S if f of A plus B is equal to f of A plus f of B and if it is addition, okay, addition A D D I T I O N, okay, it is addition and it is multiplication f of A dot B is equal to f of A dot f of B for all A B belongs to R, okay, here the operations. Uh, additions okay it is addition and it is multiplications okay next you understand r1 a whereas those on the right hand side r1 is if r by i be a factor rings of r i beings and ideals of the rings r then the mapping r r by i gives given by x2 x plus 1 x belongs to r is a homomorphism of a 1 2 okay it is 1 2 r by i with kernel a i okay a subset of r given by a belongs to r such that f of a is equal to 0 where 0 is the 0 element of s is called the kernel of f and is written as car f okay it is written as car f thus car f is the set of element of r that the map to zero also car is the ideal of r okay car is the car f car okay it is um, zero also car f okay car f is an ideal of r okay next i talk about very most important topic this topic is some properties of homomorphisms okay some properties of homomorphisms okay let f be a homomorphisms of a ring r okay f be a uh, homomorphisms of a ring r to be a rings of s okay and if zero be the addition okay zero is the addition identity in r next then f of 0 then f of 0 is equal to 0 dash is equal to 0 dash okay is the additive identity of s is the additive identity of s next f of minus a f of minus a is equal to minus f of a okay next for all a belongs to r for all a belongs to r okay a belongs to r next you understand let let a belongs to r okay let a belongs to r then a plus a plus minus a a plus minus a is equal to is equal to 
minus a plus a is equal to zero okay it is very in r in r next when f of zero when f of zero is equal to f of zero is equal to f of a plus f of a plus minus a f of minus a okay is equal to f of a plus is equal to f of a plus f of minus a f of minus f of a is equal to f of a plus minus a is equal to f of a and f of minus a okay this and this okay next you understand uh, and also and also f of zero and also f of zero is equal to f of f of minus a okay f of minus a plus a is equal to is equal to f of minus a f of minus a plus f of a plus f of a okay f of minus a plus f of a next therefore therefore f of a plus a plus f of minus a okay f of minus a is equal to is equal to f of minus a plus f of a f of a is equal to zero okay you understand it is very most important traffic and easy next which implies f of a which implies f of minus a okay is the additive inverse of a is s okay here f of minus a here f of minus a is equal to minus f of a okay next three number properties three number properties it is if a b a sub ring of r okay if a b a it is a b a sub ring of r okay sub ring of r of uh, of r then f of a is a sub ring of s and b okay next f of a okay f of a uh, is a sub ring of s and b okay if b a sub ring of f and um, f inverse f inverse b if b is a sub ring of r of r okay this is inverse of r next uh, if r be a commutative uh, r is a commutative r has a unity one okay r has a unity one and next s not equals to zero okay s not equals to zero next f is one two and f one is the unity of s all these properties can be stabilized using the corresponding group properties let the mapping f be a homomorphisms from r to s if the mapping f is injective then the homomorphisms is said to be monomorphisms when the mapping f is the surjective then the homomorphisms is said to be an epimorphisms if the mapping f be bijective then the homomorphisms is said to be a isomorphisms okay all these properties can be stabilized using the corresponding group properties let the mapping f be a homomorphisms from r to s if the mapping is injective then the homomorphisms is said to be a monomorphisms when the mapping is surjective it is injective and it is surjective okay always remember this topic next then the homomorphisms is said to be an epimorphisms if the mapping be bijective okay injective surjective bijective then the homomorphisms is said to be an isomorphisms okay thank you take care goodbye okay i in this time i discuss about homomorphisms okay some properties of homomorphisms okay thank you take care goodbye